Hello, I'm Jeff Golden. Thanks so much for being with us today. I have the great pleasure of being joined by Washington Garcia. And for those of you that don't know, uh, Washington is a professor and the director of the School of Music at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. Washington, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes of your time today. So I had a question for you. I, I've learned from our conversations and from others that we're starting a uh, medical orchestra project, program, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what you're thinking and about where that idea came from? Sure. Good afternoon, Dr. Golden. Thank you for having me here. Actually, um, a long time ago in a far, far place, at about 9,000 feet, I was born in Quito, Ecuador. In, uh, I was very blessed to have a background in music, but also in, in, uh, in the medical field, because my father, who is now retired, uh, is one of the most renowned neurosurgeons in Latin America. I remember uh, he, you telling me that one. I grew up my whole life immersed uh, um, in music and medicine. In fact, I went to the surgery room with my father, and I was shocked when I heard music, classical music, in the surgery room. And I told my father, is it usual that, that this is the case? And he said, yes, except when I have to clip the aneurysm, and then there is absolute silence. Yes. Other, and then I remember you. I, I, I relate to that. Going to, the, going to the dentist, always hearing classical music in the background. So. Uh, all my life, I grew up with uh, the identity of being surrounded by music and, and medicine. Um, uh, I'm going to fast forward the tape. When I was a student doing my master's and my PhD in music at the Johns Hopkins University, I was exposed to a medical uh, orchestra. Johns Hopkins has a great orchestra. So as being a music major at the Peabody Institute, I heard quite often the medical orchestra, and I was astonished. Uh, that paired with uh, hearing competitions from uh, you know, the Van Cliver International Piano Competition and hearing these great doctors or students who are uh, is still uh, not do it professionally, but amateur uh, musicians who do a great job inspired me uh, to have the idea to start something like that here in, in Omaha. So a few weeks ago, I received a, a call from Steven Wengel, who is Assistant Vice Chancellor for Campus Wellness for UNO and UNMC. Um, uh, he helped us put together a group of folks who were very interested and shared this vision to create the orchestra. So we brainstormed, and as any great uh, project, it started with an idea and a great com deal of commitment to nurture this idea into what is now uh, a project that is running. Today uh, was the first day that the um, advertisement for uh, calling folks to, who are interested to mm -hmm. contact us, and we actually had a really good turnout now so far we have about 45 people wow. who have responded uh, in less than 24 hours who want to be part of this project. And so how do people find out more? Let's say they you know, per, uh, had some experience in music, uh, in performance uh, in college or played in a small group in town or perhaps are even more proficient than that. Uh, how do they find out more? How do they reach you? So the easiest way would be to email me. Uh, they can either look me up in the School of Music at UNO website, or they can uh, direct uh, their inquiries to WA Garcia mm -hmm. at UNO uh, UNOmaha.edu, and I can yeah. provide them with more information about where to go, where to look. Although there are no additions required, we really welcome everybody. We want to be as inclusive as possible. Um, so we're really looking. Do you have any idea when the first meeting is going to be? Well, our timeline is to start hopefully rehearsals by the end of August um, and then have our first concert by December. We move well, fast, as you well, can tell. A concert. Yes. Great. Well, listen, thank you so much for doing this. You know, and as I reflect on my past, both my residency years and many, many years of practicing surgery, there was always music in the operating room. There was always debate as to what the gender was going to be, but there was always music in the operating room, and now there'll be medical music here at UNMC. Absolutely. Look for the collaboration. Thank well, you. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. And thank you for being with us today as well.